Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2022 ski test. Today we're gonna talk about the Line Sick Day 104. Uh, super fun ski. Uh, the Sick Day collection in general is kind of Line's take on directional all mountain skis. The company is very well known for twin tips, uh, you know, big wide powder skis with lots of tip and tail rocker, that kind of stuff. So. Somewhat unusual for Line to do a directional ski like this, but I think they did a, a really good job and I think kind of the Line heritage comes through in its performance. Um, this is the widest ski in the Sick Day collection. So at 104 underfoot, it's kind of becoming more of a almost free ride ski or kind of blurring the line between all mountain and free ride. Um, basically the build is the same as the narrower version, the 94. Um, it uses an aspen wood core, and then we also get some carbon fiber stringers in this ski. Uh, Lion calls them magic fingers, but the best way to think about it is they're just kind of longitudinal strips of carbon that run down the ski. Uh, so that construction works really well for this ski because it keeps the weight down uh, close to 1800 grams, which is pretty impressive for a ski this wide, but you also get a nice supportive flex pattern a little stiffer underfoot than in the tips and tails, but enough, certainly enough stiffness that you can ski them pretty aggressively, ski them pretty hard um, without them being too heavy, which is an impressive accomplishment. Um, like I said, directional shape, so you're getting more tip rocker than tail rocker by a pretty substantial amount. Um, so that's about where tip rocker starts, and then we flip it over and look at the tail. There's really not nearly as much rise back there um, there is some, which helps in soft snow, but certainly a directional shape. So for application of this ski, um, there's kind of a couple different ways that I like to think about it. One is it can be a just highly versatile, very fun ski to use in the resort. Um, I could see it being like a really, really good daily driver for a Western skier who is in a lot of soft snow. Um, you know, again, light but also pretty strong, so you can rip it on groomers, and then you can also go take it into soft snow and bowls and stuff like that, and, and play around and have a good time without the ski feeling too fatiguing. Um, and then I think a really, really good application for it is also as an alpine touring ski. Um, kind of that crossover resort alpine touring. Uh, we're seeing a lot of people choosing skis like that, using bindings like the Solomon Shift or the Marker Duke PT. Um, both great options to put on a ski like this and then you've got something that you can take touring in the backcountry and then also use at the resort. So really fun ski, a um, couple different applications for it or you can kind of create your own um, and whatever you choose to do with it, it's going to be really versatile, really fun, uh, very capable ski in a lot of conditions without feeling too demanding, too fatiguing uh, or, or yeah, too challenging to ski. Um, so great job from Line, great ski. The whole Sick Day collection is a lot of fun. Uh, I particularly love the pink graphics on this one. Uh, so kudos to Line. Um, let us know if you have any questions about it. As always, uh, you can read more about it on SkiEssentials.com if you need a little more information or pick up the phone, give us a call, anything you want. Um, and, and yeah, we'll, we'll see you guys out there on the slopes and who knows, maybe we'll be skiing a, a Sick Day 104.